Hi, this is Terry. Have something important to talk to you guys about. You guys know that I ride a motorcycle. I come from a motorcycle family. My family, they ride bikes. My friends ride bikes. It's kind of, you know, inner boy. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. How many of you have been in a situation where you don't know the language? You don't know what someone's speaking about. I have been at bike rallies. I have been in biker bars. I have been in places that words are thrown around and I see people that don't know the language looking around like, where's the nearest exit? These people are crazy. I just wanted to tell you a little bit of biker lingo, okay? Because I want you to make sure you're protected. And you know, so you can kind of like fit in a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, let's start off with one of the biggest things that you're going to see and you have heard about. This sometimes gets a really bad rap. One percenter. One percenter. One percenter. That was a name given to some bikers that were classified by the government as outlaw motorcycle. Don't use this word. Don't use this word. Gangs. No, no, no. Don't say that. No. A one percenter. The government said 99% of motorcycle riders are law-abiding, but there's a 1% that aren't. I would, I would sort of say that of about any group you have, wouldn't you? But you'll see it. This is what their patch looks like. You'll see it, they're a 1%. If you see them, treat them with respect. The general rules are you don't speak to them unless you're spoken to. I kind of break that sometimes because I like to be friendly and I, I don't know, maybe I have a little bit of a rebellious streak. If you have a three-piece or a three-piece patch, that's kind of important. That belongs, the motorcycle clubs wear those, okay? So the top rocker, it's called a rocker. You know, it's kind of like that little arch. It'll say the name of the club. In the middle of that, it's a separate piece, will have the club's logo and underneath it will tell what area, what location, what chapter that they are affiliated with. And generally, you're gonna see MC, which is a little separate patch somewhere. And in the world of motorcycle clubs, to wear a three-piece patch, three-piece cut, you you have you have to be sanctioned. I mean, there's a hierarchy there. So to wear a three-piece cut, that's, it could be tricky for some people. So that's not anything you really wanna be playing around with unless you know the rules. 81, who knows what 81 is? No? You don't? I bet you know 81. You've heard of 81. Also known as HA, the Hells Angels. H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. One is the first letter of the alphabet. They're also known as red and white. Abate. I have a lot of friends that are members of Abate and they lobby on behalf of motorcyclists. Fantastic group. Yeah, just saying. Then we have the ATF. Do you know what the ATF is? One percenters do. Because the ATF is who made the one percenters. That is the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. If you hear AMA or CAMA, that's just the American Motor Motorcycle. That, 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 that. The American Motorcycle Association. You learned something by that, didn't you? An associate. So let's say you have a patched club and they, they're talking about their associates. That's generally someone that just kind of likes to hang around them, and they let hang around them. It's, you know, as easy as that. The big four. If you hear someone talking about the big four, you might want to run, because there might be, um, how do I say, a collision coming. The big four are Hells Angels, Pagans, Banditos, and the Outlaws. The federal government has them classified as outlaw gangs. And they also can be prosecuted under the RICO Act. I think some's legit, some maybe not, probably more yes than no, but I'm not saying, just saying. A biker, you know what a biker is? Somebody who rides a motorcycle, but a biker is more than somebody that rides a motorcycle. A biker is someone that's about the culture, about the camaraderie, the friendship, the brotherhood, sisterhood. Bikers are family. 
church. If you hear a biker say he's going to church, you're going to their club meet. That's what you're doing. Colors. Oh my gosh, here's a big one. Colors. Colors will identify the color of the motorcycle club. You guys know a lot of the colors. You've got red and white. That's the Hell's Angel. You have red and gold. That's the Benditos. You have black and white, which are the Mongols. Co colors, and if they're flying colors, that means that they are showing off their colors. They're wearing their cuts, they're wearing their bandanas. They are showing you the colors of the club that they belong to. Tennis shoes, laces, anything. Even their get back with. This is mine. It's pink and black. You know what club I belong to? The, my bike says I'm a lady, but I'll still kick your butt club. That's what people have told me. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, but these are cool. What they used to be used for, they're, they're very easily, uh, as I can't pull this one, you can just attach them from your, from your handlebars, get back, get away from my bike. Car, get away. I wouldn't suggest doing that, no. Please agree with me. GBNF. You ever seen those? GBNF, and then you'll see a name. It's gone, but not forgotten. A gremlin. A lot of people have gremlin bells. I have bells all over my bike because I am a hoarder of bells. Even on my shirt. Legend has it that when you're riding your motorcycle and the road gremlins might, you know, want to take you down, those bells catch them and stop them or scare them away whichever way you want to go with that. But for them to be most effective, they have to be given to you by someone else. And a hang around, that's someone that just likes to hang around and like pretend they're part of the, you know, lore, part of the allure, part of or hang around, be gone. Here's another one, I rode mine. That is a huge thing with bikers because there are people and I can understand this, if, you know, especially if you have some physical limitations or your time is limited. There are some people that will trailer their bikes to Sturgis, to Daytona, to Laughlin, to some of the big rallies. They trailer them. But if you rode yours, that's the sign of a real biker. You guys ever heard of the Iron Butt? That's riding a thousand miles in 24 hours. Yeah. A knucklehead? No, it's not your baby brother. It's another style of engine that was produced from, I believe, 1936 to 1947 by Harley Davidson. Lane splitting. I'm all for it. That's when you see a bike go like between cars. It's usually because they're air cooled. And you gotta keep that air on that motor, cooling that engine down so the bike doesn't overheat. Some people don't like it. I think it's a really good idea. You know, personal preference there. Just be safe. A lone wolf is a biker that has no club affiliation. All right, this is something that I don't know if you guys have ever seen before, but you'll see AFFA or MFFM. The last two letters are generally, okay, we'll, we'll do angels. AFFA, angels forever, forever, angels. MFFM, Mongols forever, forever, Mongols. Motorcycle clubs, look them up. A mother chapter. That is the original chapter that other clubs are formed under. But, you know, it's like, you know, kind of like a pyramid thing. Your mother chapter here, branch out, branch out, branch out. Peasy, peasy. Okay, a nomad. If you see a nomad that's on the bottom rocker, that means it's a club member that travels between chapters. He doesn't really belong to one chapter, but he travels between chapters around forever. The country, the world, wherever. He's a nomad. OMG, Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. But we're not gonna call them gangs, they're clubs. In my opinion, have you ever heard of a poker run? That's generally when, when bikers or clubs are trying to raise money for something, and you'll buy into the poker run, and you have various stops, and you'll get a card. At the end, everyone meets up. Whoever has the best hand wins a certain amount and the rest of the money goes to whoever you were trying to raise money for. Bikers are famous for their charity. In my experience, bikers have given more money to children, to charity, than a lot of churches and other people that I know. 
Bikers here organize the toy runs for the, the kids' hospitals. They are so, so, so amazing. Which brings me to another one, BACA, B-A-C-A. It's Bikers Against Child Abuse. They're amazing. They will go to court with kids that have been abused. They protect them. They make them feel safe. It gives them a sense of empowerment to be able to have a great big biker go with them when they're having to face the person that hurt them. Baca, you guys keep it up. You do amazing, amazing work. Okay, you're gonna see women with patches that say property of, and then some biker name underneath it. They belong to that person. I'm not your property, I'm my property. People, I, I don't agree with that term, but a lot of people do, so whatever floats your boat, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so then a prospect. No, we're not looking for gold here. A prospect is someone that is doing things to become a member of a club. Prospects, they'll usually have a prospect badge on, uh, patch on. They will do anything. They're on call 24 seven. Hey brother, I need a pack of cigarettes. Three o'clock in the morning, can you run 30 miles and get me some and bring them back? You better do it or you're not gonna get, be getting in that club. M N L H R. Much love, honor, and respect. There are a, there's a lot of respect in the biker community. And let me give you a little bit of an example. My daughter went on a bike ride with a big group several weeks back. And it was really more of a group than she felt comfortable with. So she pulled over to the side and let everyone go. Well, she looks in her, her mirror and she sees another group, Paul and Bud, coming past. She knew it was a, an MC. She knew the color. She knew which one it was. So I'm not gonna name them. They all passed her, woo, 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 They all go by. And then she said, one stop. She already knew who they were, and her heart just was jumping out of her chest. He wanted to make sure my girl was okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're gonna see patches sometimes that have D-I-L-L-A-G-F, and you have no idea what they mean. It means, do I look like I give a beep? Now you know. I told you I'd teach you something. Do you know what sweep is? Sweeps the guy that rides back. He is the one that's protecting everyone in front of him. So he's keeping traffic. If there's a car that's gonna come up too fast and could hurt someone, he sort of maneuvers so that car can't get up there and interfere with the group. They're good people to have. What scares you? Do you ride a bike? You know what, if you ride a bike, let me know. What kind of bike do you ride? Are there some terms I've forgotten? Or are there some terms you'd like to correct me on? Or give me your take on anything that I said. I would love to engage in conversation with you guys. I think you guys are pretty cool. All right, the term biker means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. If you're speaking to a motorcycle club or people that have lived their life on a bike and you only ride on, you know, once a month for an hour, you're not a biker, you're a motorcyclist. A biker lives a life, they do the culture, they really blend into the community. It is a way of life. That's what a biker is. That's the difference between a biker and a motorcyclist. So, as of right now, I don't think I have anything else. If you do, drop it in the comments. If you found this even slightly entertaining, or maybe feel sorry for me because, you know, I get scattered so many times, please subscribe. Hit the like button, the notification bell for any new content. You guys, if you're riders, if you're bikers, if you're motorcyclists, be safe, ride safe. If you're a cager, if you're a driver, please watch for us because we have families too. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Get on that bike, ride it, have fun. If you don't ride, consider it. Really consider it, it's a lot of fun. You know, I say that and then I'm thinking of people that just don't want to ride a motorcycle. And I can't really imagine that. But I know there are people that just don't want to ride. And to me, that's unfathomable. And I guess my lifestyle, they can't really fathom my lifestyle either. So I guess it evens out. Whatever you're gonna do, do it great. Whatever you're gonna do, be the best at it. Be 
careful, have fun, always give respect, and remember, our lives matter too. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Peace out, and I will catch you soon.